Olivia. I'm Ms. Piper from the Ellensburg Public Library. Thank you for being here with me in Family Stories and Conversation. Today I have an oldie. Perhaps you have interacted with it before. It is Caps for Sale. This book is told and illustrated by Esfir Slobodkina. I'm not sure if I'm getting that right. A Tale of a Peddler, Some Monkeys, and Their Monkey Business. Harper Collins Publishers. That is the publisher of this book. A peddler. Do you know what a peddler is? Someone who went around selling things to people. Once, there was a peddler who sold caps. But he was not like an ordinary peddler, carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had on his own checkered cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight, so as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called, Caps! Caps for sale! 50 cents a cap! One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody even wanted a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country said he and he walked out of town slowly slowly so as to not upset his caps He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel if they were straight. First, his own checkered hat, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. They were all there. So he went to sleep. He slept for a long time.
When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own checkered cap. He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked in back of him, no caps. He looked behind the tree, no caps. Then he looked up into the tree and what did you think he saw? On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. This made the peddler angry, so he shook both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, Sst, sst, sst. Now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, you monkeys, you, you better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said,
By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, You monkeys, you! You must give me back my caps! But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. Then each monkey pulled off his cap. And all the gray caps and all the brown caps and all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling, Caps! Caps for sale! 50 cents a cap! And then, as it says right here, this is the end of Caps for Sale. A Tale of a Peddler, Some Monkeys, and Their Monkey Business by Esfer Slobodkina. Well now, that was some real monkey business, wasn't it? That title was not fooling. All right, I'd like to have a discussion with you about that book. And you can have a discussion with those that watched or listened to the book with you, if you like. Um, question number one. We were told in the title, but the peddler had a very unexpected day, I think, don't you think? Who would start out their day and think that eventually, at some point, they would run into some monkeys and some monkey business? I wouldn't think that, certainly. Have you had a day where something really unexpected happened? Where you started out your day and then the way your day went was completely different from how you thought your day was gonna go? Has that ever happened to you? The peddler, in his case, he got angry. How did you deal with your unexpected day? Question number two. Is this book funny? If you think it's funny, what makes it funny? Why is it funny? What makes something funny? And question number three, 
what would you have done in the peddler's place? How would you have handled that situation? The same? Differently? All right. Thank you for being here. I wish you a very happy day, a very happy week, and I will see you next time. Bye, friends.